This is the Mom Stitcher. This is false tube number three. I had originally planned on posting a video every week, but this week has been extremely busy. Uh, life update. <laughs> I am 31 weeks pregnant in two days with my fifth, and I've been having some contractions and lower back pain. And then my husband had to have a uh, emergency tooth extraction, so he's been kind of out of commission for the past five days, but it's been a busy week and I've not really been able to do much other than take care of my family. But uh, I have been able to stitch here and there. I have some haul, I have uh, finish. I have a new start and yeah so I also wanted to shout out some of my favorite floss tubes as well at the end of the video but let's get started and I'm so excited about my new start so I actually purchased two pieces of fabric probably a month ago, maybe longer than that, from firepoppies.com. And I got a Lugana and an Ada um, that was dyed. I got an Ada to be on the safe side because that's all I've ever used. And then I got a Lugana because I wanted to try it. So it came in and I have been so intimidated by it that I just haven't touched it. And then I finally bought a pattern and made myself get started on it. And I love Lugana. Like, I love it so much that I don't want to use anything else. And I was intimidated by it this whole entire time. I was afraid to use it. I was like, I'm not going to be able to use it. I'm not going to be able to see it. Um, but I bought this pattern. I started it on August 2nd. It's a Outlander pattern. It's called the the store is Quoten Stitch. Quoten Stitch. And I bought this pattern to do. I love Outlander. Outlander is my favorite book series. I've read all of them. I'm impatiently waiting for book nine, but I got started on this with the Lugana. It's a uh, Lugana 28 count, and I think it's called Niagara Falls, but this is how much I've done since August 2nd. I've done a lot. I just love how it feels. I love how easy it is to use, and I love how the stitches look. In the end, I think I'll definitely go back and get more. Um, probably like 30 count Lugana, but this is my little Outlander Needleminder. I'll post a link on where I got it as well. But I'm loving it, I love it so much. I just started on August 2nd. <laughs> got the, I think uh, I used a markup app, I think it says I have like 37% done. So. I'm flying through it, flying through it because I just love it so much. The other piece of fabric that I got from Fire Poppies is, it's called Woodland Moss. It's 16 count Ada. And I'm having a really hard time finding anything that I want to cross stitch on. Green, this color green is my favorite color. I love this color green. I might do a Christmas piece on it. I've looked at a few different Christmas pieces, but none of them fit this amount of fabric that I have. So that's probably, that's my goal. But I, I probably won't start it anytime soon because I'm just really enjoying this Outlander piece on the Lugana. I, I actually want to go on and order some more Lugana because I love it. This is the first time I've ever used anything other than um, Ada. I do have a piece of linen somewhere that I haven't 
tried using, but I don't know. I'm pretty sold on the Logana fabric. Another thing that I got was I ordered a few things from 123 Stitch. I ordered these little fabric ring or floss rings and this little pattern, this Christmas pattern. It's a really quick, easy pattern um, that I'll probably do soon. I would like to get it done before Christmas. I'm sure I could do it in one setting, but I got that in the mail from 123 Stitch, the floss rings, and I ordered some floss for my Quaker sampler because I had completely ran out. I also purchased my very first what is it called? Um, let's see, it's a paper I don't know what these are called, but it's from the Forbidden Fiber Co. Here's one. It's the Sweet Life Mini Pearl Stitch Kit. So they have a lot of different kits, and I'm a little intimidated by a lot of them. But when I got the email that this one was available, I immediately wanted to get it because it was in my price range and it was small it wasn't going to be a big project but now that I've got it in the mail I'm hooked and I'll probably order more kits but if you ordered this and you're waiting for it to come in the mail you might want to skip over this part if you don't want to be spoiled but it's called Sweet Life Mini Cross Stitch. The hoop it came with the cutest needle minder. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's a little butterfly. And the back of it has a button on it. I love it. Green's my favorite color. It came with this little charm on the bag, but it fell off when I opened it. But it has like a little flower in it. I don't know if you can see. And then some like glitter rocks in there. It came with this tape measure. Then it came with this Ada 14 count for uh, summer, summer slices. I don't know. I can't read that one, but anyway. I'll get it out. It's a very, very pretty color. Isn't that cute? I love it. Absolutely love it. So cute. And the floss. I'll get the floss out. It's not even open, the floss. This is, I've only ever used DMC floss ever. So I was super excited just to be like, kind of dip into other flosses. So it came with, let's see, this one's called Prism. And it has some really pretty rainbow colors in it. I love it, it's so pretty. This one is gorgeous, it's called Peachy Keen. Love it. And then Stormy Skies. So pretty. And then the pattern says Home Sweet Homes by Forbidden Company. I'm really excited to have like another little project to do. I'm glad I didn't like go big on this because I wouldn't have time to do another big project right now. So I'm really happy with my first kit that I've ever bought, or first, I don't know what you call it, first surprise mini kit, whatever. And I will definitely be ordering some more kits from Forbidden, Forbidden Fiber Co. I have seen uh, some of the kits that they have, and I've really been impressed with everything in them. Some of the kits are just not uh, intriguing to me, but if I ever saw one for Outlander, oh my gosh. 
I would definitely be on that. Oh, and it came with this bag as well. So stinking cute. Love it. Love, love, love. My daughter, she, she's 14 and she actually opened this up and she's not a cross stitcher by any means. She has the thought of cross stitch just crafting along, but she was like, this is a really cool kit. And she wanted to steal the bag, but I was like, nope, I have to keep all the stuff in the bag. So moving on, um, I did get a, I did have a finish. Well, I finished as much as I could. I had mentioned before, I really hate this fabric because it's so stiff, but it's done. All I have to do is insert the information after my baby's born. Just insert like how big he is and what day he was born and what time of the day he was born. That's all that's left. But I bought a frame and it doesn't fit. And I just haven't been back to the store to um, get another one. But this is the finish as much as I can. Now I did want to go ahead and frame it so that it was just, so I could go ahead and hang it up in his room. But I went too high up here. If I could have went down a little bit more, it would fit in the frame perfectly. But in the frame, it shows too much of this right here. So, and then with the border in the frame, it covers up the border that I stitched. So I may have to figure something out. Um, I may have to get it custom framed, which I don't want to, but anyway, it's done. I finished it. I hated this fabric. I <laughs> did not want to finish it. Um, yeah, it was definitely my least favorite project that I've done. I had originally planned on starting the Mississippi cross stitch um, that I mentioned in the last video. And I just got started on this Outlander. And like I said, I just love 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 stitching on this Lozano to the point that I can't I don't want to do anything else so I'll probably finish this one before I even start another one to be honest because I'm loving it and I'll probably order quite a few more pieces of Lozano I've not used linen yet I've not used some of the other Maybe I should venture out and use all of them and see which one I like best, but I'm just so loving how easy the flow is with Lugana. Um, so yeah, that's my whip. I have a lot of other whips that I'm working on, but I haven't touched any of them in a very long time. <laughs> so... I, there's no progress on those since the last few. I did want to give a shout out to some of the floss tubes that I watch pretty regularly. And I will post all of these in the description below. One of them is Mary Ashcraft. I really like her projects that she does and her energy. She's just always so happy. Um, another one is X. Stitch MD. She has some beautiful, beautiful pieces that she's working on. She she posts, I think, like once a month, but when she does, she has so much to show, and I love watching her. Um, another one that I love watching is so it's Elizabeth Frizzy Lizzy Stitch. Stitch, Frizzy Lazy Stitch, but I'll link her YouTube below. She has some very colorful pieces that she's working on, and I love, love, love colorful pieces. And uh, me and her actually have a lot of the, we actually like a lot of the same pieces. She's doing a couple that I actually have added to my list that I want to do. But those are the my shout outs for the week. I hope you enjoy my super short video and I will see you hopefully in the next week or so.